Doing, Carl. I'm driving. What are you doing? I'm working on my yacht voice. Uh, off the bat, I hate it. <laughs> you don't like my yacht voice? I hate it. Well, hello, Carl. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm practicing my yacht voice. Dude, that's not a yacht voice, bro. That's like a fucking... Well, that's why I'm practicing it. Oh, okay, yeah. Before I get to Matt Farr from Smoking Tire, I'm going to have... Farah. What? Matt Favre. I didn't say Favre. I said Far. It's Matt Farrick, but thanks for playing. He's from thesmokingtire.com. He has a popular YouTube channel that has no bullshit reviews about cars and other cool stuff. He's also a podcaster, but he knows what he's doing. The guy's rich as fuck, so that makes him friendship material for Opie and Carl. And he's obviously good company, as you're about to hear. Even though Opie and Carl haven't taken the time to learn his last name. Matt Farah. Matt Farah. That's Carl Ruiz. Ruiz if you're really white. Alias the Cuban. That Jason Bourne. And if you're Opie, Lamb Chop. He's a big star on the Food Network. Top dog champ on Guy's Grocery Games. Newly single, bouncing back quite nicely, and making the most of it. Podcasting with Opie. He's a great chef whose Instagram posts will make you weep. He knows a lot about a lot of things. Matt Farrar. Oh. Matt Farrar. <laughs> Hi, Matt Farrar. How are you? Farrar. That's Opie. Loves busting Carl's balls. He's a real radio guy. Had a number one show a few times. If you don't know O&A, then you were probably born around Y2K. Look it up online. His name's actually Greg Hughes. But he just looked more like an Opie when he was 12 and is stuck with him. Now he walks around recording himself with different personalities who like to drink a lot, eat a lot, and laugh a lot. Mostly Carl. Thanks to Tim Sabian, Westwood One gave him a podcast. And Tim asked me to cop the old theme song. But Opie wanted tribal drums in him because some fucking shaman. So I did it. I'm also here to let you know that it's time for another episode of Opie Radio. the Cuban. We find ourselves in uh, Greenwich, Connecticut. My God. I love it here. What are you doing? I'm making sure we have volume. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that has been our biggest problem with podcasting, making sure the equipment uh, works. I just feel that I've got 30 tweets coming now. <laughs> nice volume, guys. <laughs> Way to go. Race to the bottom, you two. <laughs> what are we doing today? We're in Greenwich, Connecticut, and we're going on a yacht. Hi, lovey. <laughs> That's better, right? I hate that when you do that because your teeth come out. <laughs> well, you have to be very teethy if you're going to yeah. be on a yacht. Oh, well, think, I think the Kennedys. Well, then if it's about being teethy on a yacht, then I should have my own because my teeth are all over the fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> your Kennedy's love child when he used to hang out in Cuba. <laughs> I'm a half abortion from Ethel Kennedy. <laughs> Boy, they love their teeth in that family. Oh, when that girl died in the river, they dug me out instead. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Remember in Chappaqu... Where was it? Oh, Chappaqua. No, no, not in Chappaqua. In wherever. Where oh, Chappaquiddick. Chappaquiddick, where you drove off drunk off the bridge and, and, and off that chick. That's all you need to know about politics is right there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He never got in trouble for that. He, he walked himself home as she's drowning, has seaweed in his hair, and decides, I'm going to take a nap before I call the cops. Do you believe that shit? That's politics in America right there. That is, that is an entitled little brat if I've ever heard one. Anyway, we're in Greenwich, Connecticut, and we're going to go on Matt Farrar's yacht today. That's going to be nice, right? It's going to be amazing. I've, I haven't been on a boat in uh, many years. Really? How come? I don't know. I, I guess because, you know, my kids are very young, so you, when you when you first have your kids, you know, you got to shut everything down for a few years. We're finally starting to be aware again and starting to do things again. I was on Matt's boat uh, last year, and it was awesome, man. He's just a cool dude. You're going to love him. He's a really cool dude. Well, we've been talking a bit since I started this podcast, and he seems like a really cool dude. I'm finally meeting him uh, in person today. Yeah, this is like your first play date with like a real dude that like talks about cars 
and booze. Not like your friend with the Beatles records, all catalog. But <laughs> it was raining when they recorded this one. Here's a locket of Yoko's bush hair. <laughs> You're obsessed with my friend that, that has the record collection. Sucks balls, <laughs> literally and figuratively. <laughs> He's a nice guy. Oh. Yeah, he okay. just likes categorizing his record collection. Oh. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Jump off a bridge. His wife is a big time surgeon in New York City, so he doesn't really have to do much except raise the kids and and and. Cast- and at it. Didn't your daughter get hurt there like three minutes into the play date? <laughs> no, it was near the end, you ass. <laughs> <laughs> but this place is a death trap. <laughs> she had Schwinn ind- indented in her ankle from the exercise bike. Oh, my God. But she was all right in the end. Well, that's all that matters, Opie. Where are we going, bro? This is... I'm t- I'm exhausted. I want to I want to see Matt. Yeah, I want to see Matt, too. Uh, are there going to be pina coladas on the yacht today? No. No. What's the drink of choice? I hate pina coladas. You know who made me hate pina coladas? What? Roland Campos. Who's Roland? Roland's this fat guy at Tier 6 Send that tells all my friends he's going to get them U2 tickets, but he doesn't. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, dude, I had a chef call me pissed off. I was like, yeah, bro, tell your boy, um, stop offering chefs in Florida free tickets and Sears XM stuff for hotel rooms and dinners because he's not delivering. He says, keep them out of this town. Uh, how about them apples? How about them apples? <laughs> 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 so this uh, this guy, Roland, who I don't really know, um, <clears throat> he offered a whole bunch of stuff to be on what? Does he do a radio show or something, this Roland guy? He does um, He does a show. It's a, it's a food variety show. There's no chefs on the show, and they really don't really interview chefs. It's more like uh, they interview celebrities about kids' cookbooks and stuff. Um, but basically, the whole show, it's on satellite radio. It's structured um, so that he can go and eat for free in New York City. What is satellite radio? Uh, it's radio that comes from a satellite. I'm, gonna, I'm fucking getting annoyed. Come on, you're getting annoyed. <laughs> I don't know this Roland. I don't know this satellite radio thing. Oh, dude. <laughs> a fucking early onset Alzheimer's. That's all I'm going to deal with. You know what? It's for the best that you don't remember. <laughs> Can you tell I settled with Sirius and I'm just trying to be a good boy? Oh, did you really? Oh, yeah. No, no. Then scratch that story. I made that up. <laughs> no, that's a good story. If if you know who this Roland guy nope, is and, and, and if you know what this Sirius thing is and if you know uh, his radio show, I, I would assume it's a great story. But I personally don't know who Roland is, and I don't know what Sirius XM is all about. Oh man, I love this. Well, we're coming where I came from. Uh, we have what's called financial amnesia, also. <laughs> so yeah, man, I don't know what I was just talking about. That wasn't actually Carl. That was his best friend, Julio, <laughs> Brooklyn. <laughs> hey, Carl's here. <laughs> And uh, are you noticing that uh, I'm wearing the hat you purchased for me when we did our road trip to Rochester? Yes, I did. That was I had a really good time. Did that I? was really great to see uh, Brother Weez. Brother Weez and their hot co-host. She's so uh, Deanna King. Oh man, she's my favorite, and she's funny on Twitter. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go see Weez uh, soon. That'll be the next trip we do. She was. Uh, she posted a picture the other day, her and her friend in bikinis, like, uh, I guess, well, there's no ocean up there. What the hell do you do in Rochester? It must have been a puddle or something that they were by. Oh, bikinis. Will there be bikini babes on the yacht today? She posted a picture, and I had to, like, I had to wait, like, 20 minutes to like it, so I wouldn't, like, the creep that liked it, like, <laughs> <laughs> I, like, made a mental note. I'm like, make sure you go back to King's page and like that picture. But I waited for, like, three or four other people to hit like, because it was, like, for a while there, I was just liking things, like... That, like she, as she was putting the picture up, it would be like, like she wasn't even on Twitter yet. So you, you don't want to look too thirsty on social oh, media. I was thirsty. I was parched. <laughs> 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 I was parched. Sometimes you gotta chill before you, you, ah, you hit that do, like. I got carried away, man. Like I remember one time I liked like four of her pictures at once, and I was like, right. "Oh, that's bad." Right. I'm trying to be better because someone will tweet me and go, "Hey, hope I like the podcast." Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Retweet, subtweet, right? Screenshot. <laughs> Sometimes these guys will write me back like, "Yo, chill, bro." <laughs> <laughs> Pump your brakes, cuz. <laughs> I don't even read the full tweet before I'm hitting uh, uh, a tweet. Uh, it re- doesn't say suck like it has yeah, trigger yeah, words like yeah. suck or your right. career. Or like you, thank you. <laughs> anyway, this is my camo crispy cream donuts hat that Carl got me. I it love looks, it. I it love looks it. great. You look good, oh. It's the Carl Ruiz starter set. 
Are you going to wear a short sleeve shirt for the boat? Because you're wearing those fucking beekeeper shirts again. Yeah, man, because, you know, it was uh, really foggy when I left this morning. I couldn't see, so I had to do... So what, do you have eyes on your shoulder? No, I had to do low AC and, and, uh, you know, get the air just right, so I was freezing in the car, so I put on a long sleeve shirt. Is that okay with you? Uh, Hold on, I just got a text message. Oh, yeah? This is from Matt. How much do you guys want to drink? I have very little booze on the boat, but can get more while you're recording. You know what? That just reminds me, for real. Yeah. I'm an idiot. I I actually purchased a really nice bottle of champagne for this trip, and I forgot to grab it. Let me tell you something, Opie. No, it's a gift for Matt. It's like, it's a, hey, thanks for having me today. Here's a little champagne. Let me tell you something. I've been alive on this earth for 43 years, and I've been in very rough towns, and I've scammed a lot of people. That's the most bullshit story I've ever heard in my life. No, it's it's really true. So let me get this straight. You didn't forget your fishing rods and your bait. Right. You didn't forget your Krispy Kreme hat or your beekeeper shirt. (laughs) It's not a beekeeper shirt. But you (laughs) forgot an expensive bottle of champagne. What was the brand? All right, well. All right. Don't don't I mean, don't hustle me, bro. But can Oh, I'm getting beeped at. Yes, because you're well, in someone's driveway. Me, me We're in Greenwich, bro. You're going to get tased. All right, it was a re-gift. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I knew you didn't buy anything for anybody. <laughs> Come on now. But it's a really nice bottle of champagne. It's still in the box and everything. Oh, it's in the box and everything, right? Nice little box of Frianza wine is probably what you got. All right, we're pulling into a town called Coscob before we get on our yacht. Ooh, green and tonic revived with real food. Don't Bro, eat- side bowls and smoothies. This town was made for me. Yeah, this place is totally you. Everyone here has stage two skin cancer. <laughs> This Greenwich, this is the richest thing I've ever seen. Isn't this beautiful? It is gorgeous. It's oozing white privilege. It's just oozing. How much do you guys want to drink at 10 a.m.? I have very little booze on boat, but can get more while you're recording. That was the text message you just read on the podcast. Yeah, hold on. That's Matt Farrar. I got beers and boxed wine in the Fox. What kind of beer, Carl? Uh, Genesee. Oh, Genesee, that's not bad. I like that. All right, where are we going? Just get ice. Where are we going? I need a cup of coffee for real. A cup of coffee? Just go to one of your go to one of these little lesbian shops. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever had an acai bowl? Yeah, I hate them. Why do you hate them? Well, because I don't I don't get it. I don't get how this is like a like a thing now. The food in a bowl. Food's been in a bowl for three hundred years. I don't get it. Not three thousand years. It's sort of uh, desserty, but also healthy-ish. You get some fresh fruit. You get some granola, a little sliced banana on top. It's nice. Real nice. All right, we need a coffee shop. This town is rich. Oh, my oh, this God. Is this Isn't this beautiful? This is where uh, this is where I, where I always wanted to live here. Um, that's before my wife took her mask off and decided she was going to ruin my life. <laughs> but this... Uh, now I can. I'll never be able to recoup to get back to to this level. But let me tell you something. Wow, isn't this nice, bro? A black lady. Should we call the cops? What the fuck is wrong with you? I would assume a place like Coscob doesn't appreciate color. Are you kidding me? Tiger Woods is here all the time and everything. Well, he's not black. No, it's one of these towns. They they uh, they preach diversity until one moves into their neighborhood, oh, yeah, then you're done. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, I, I don't mind that I just saw a black lady. I, I was uh, I was just trying to make a point that some of these rich towns, they're all about talking about uh, inclusion. The But then in the end, they really don't want inclusion. Can we get a nice cup of coffee at uh, Karen's Coscaber? I think Karen's is closed, but the uh, the other place is open right down, right next door. What was it? Oh, this might be open. Huh? All right, let's go get some coffee. We're going to go get coffee. Then we got to meet Matt Farrar. Matt Farrar, bro. Matt Farrar, bro, from Smoking Tire. He's my a, he's favorite. My favorite YouTube. Uh, I was checking out his uh, YouTube channel. It's great. It has like a million subscribers. That's pretty, pretty impressive. Damn, it's hot out here. Remind me to... Remind me to uh, I can't hear you, Carl. I said remind me... Don't... Don't let me go on the uh, on the yacht with the blood on my sandal. I gotta get that off. Yeah, why do you have blood on your white Adidas sandals? Mi- I was wearing these in Miami when I was going hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> my face exploded. A little drip, drip. Nah, mosquito bite. I just 
nip the scab off. Well, that's what I mean. Well-made market. This way, you're going to love this. I just want a cup of coffee. Relax. They have shit like cold, like honeysuckle. And all kind of, wait, wait till you walk in here. I bet you everyone has beekeeper shirts like you do in here. I, I, I'll take the long sleeve shirt off. You I promise. Take it off, Opie. I got an Opie radio shirt in the car. You know what's funny about my kids? So the other day, right? I mean, I spent a lot of time at the beach. Right. The other day, I was wearing shorts. My kids started mocking me and laughing. Like they 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 go, "Mommy, Daddy's wearing shorts." <laughs> I just fucking lose their mind. Can you do me a favor? Yeah. Don't start your spectrum shit in here, Opie. Okay? What? We're gonna, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I will take this podcast thing and throw it through the fucking window. I just want coffee. All right. Don't be like, hi, guys. <laughs> the coffee looks great. And waving and clapping at people. Deal? Deal. Deal. All right. Go ahead. No fucking around now. Whoa, look at this place. <laughs> look at this place. <laughs> I need a cup of coffee. Oh, God, I'm literally leaving. You're going to be on your own. Here we go. A c- cafe well-made market. Hey, guys. I need the best cup of coffee you guys could uh, serve. What are we looking at? Do you want something sweet or do you want something more of like a bitter? I want bitter... Uh, I don't use uh, any sweeteners. Maybe a little almond milk, maybe a little cream, maybe a little milk. Carl, you want something? I'm talking to the boys. Uh, for the bitter, you can just grab like an Antheseus one over there in the drip. But uh, Wait, I serve myself? Yeah, that's oh. what the drip is. Uh, we've also got an iced coffee or a... Uh... No, I don't want an iced coffee. i got to go hot. Which one is the best coffee here? Synthesis? Theses? Uh, bitter. So the uh, Antheseus one, I don't remember what this one is the dark roast. All right, I'll try that. And I'd serve myself, right? Yeah. Where do we pay? Up here with us. All right. Carl, I'm buying. I'm buying. <laughs> what are you taking? What is that? An Arizona iced tea. Nice. Sweet. You don't drink coffee? No, it makes me nervous. I drink espresso, but... I love espresso. It's too hot. Have you guys got any of that cold brew action in the... in the? I need a cold brew. Cold brew? I can drink it. But I... You ever drink cold brew coffee, Carl? Uh, yeah. You don't like it? Nope. Why not? I like Dunkin' Donuts coffee with heavy cream and that chocolate syrup. I know. <laughs> I know you are. I know you are. I wait, know you wait. Are. What did he say? He said we're a lot better. Why are you defending this place? They barely pay you guys. They don't really pay us. I, hey, I'm not complaining. I, I get paid. <laughs> this is a good place. I'm with you, bro. Dunkin' Donuts crushes the coffee. They crush it. Hey. He's ever seen a Spanish person. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like an avatar. <laughs> the whitest toddler just walked by, stared up at Carl in amazement, and then ran away. <laughs> that's the guy's on his street. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> He's never seen me like a guy like me. <laughs> He's black. <laughs> what's your shelf life before we have to move on? What do you mean? Being Cuban, what's your shelf life in a real white town like this? Like, can you hang for like an hour before like people start like calling the cops, or how, how does that work? I think we're pretty much pushing up against it now. How long have we been here? <laughs> Five minutes. Yeah. Oh, I think they're waiting for me to pay. Yeah. All right, I think that's it. Oh yeah. We're podcasting, by the way, so enjoy. Podcasting, all right. That's kind of cool. Anything you want to say? What's it called? Mm-hmm. Come to Wellman Market. It's the best market in town in Grants, yeah. Connecticut. In Coscob? Coscob, that's right. Man. All right. Uh, it's called the Opie Radio Podcast. Open Radio? That's o- interesting. Open Radio. Oh, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> that shows that my star has dimmed. <laughs> They will never know who you are. Ever in a million years. That's okay. They don't need to know who I am. I'm not going for bragging right now. <sighs> what you got? I guess we got to wait to pay, huh? Yeah. yeah. So what else, though? That's about it. I'm looking forward to the trip today. This is going to be awesome. Where are we going? Out on the Long Island Sound? Yeah. It's a nice boat. You're going to like it. Is it just me, you, and Matt? Or other people? I don't know. Maybe there's other people. Hopefully there's chicks on a boat. Bikini babes? Yeah. Maybe like one that's like a little off chubby or something. Something that I don't have to work that hard. <laughs> He's laughing. You know? Yeah, like like a real hard rebounder, like oh, just yeah, crying. Yeah. Like, I miss Zach. 
Enjoy your youth and your looks because it goes away. Yeah, look at Opie. <laughs> <laughs> I used to put up numbers. Yeah. Now I hang out with this guy. Yeah. Now oh, th- this guy is talking shit. He said, sure you did. I'm sure you did in, your, in his time back before the internet. I'm paying for my man. Where's the cream? Oh, it's over here, right next to the coffee. All right, I'm going to put some milk in my coffee. Put milk in your coffee? I'm going to put some milk in my coffee. Yeah, what's wrong with that? Look at that. Ah, nice. Do you put sugars or do you put, like, agave fucking bullshit? No, I don't put any of that. Where's the tip jar, young man? I'm tip gone. You're not really allowed to. This is a credit spot. It ain't no tip That's all right. All right. There you go. A quarter each. You know what? <laughs> Wait, what did he say? Sweatshop over here. No, it's not actually. Don't say that. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. If you kids, their it's parents could probably buy and sell you. You fucking gave them 75 Are your parents rich? Of course they are. So, so, I mean, we're in Greenwich, so. Um, what does your dad do? Uh, his dad is fire trip, seriously. What does your dad do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not, oh, the, oh, you laugh at that. <laughs> oh, you laugh at that. Oh, that's hilarious, is it? <laughs> what does your dad do, for real? Who's the dinosaur? Uh, I mean, he used to work on Wall Street with my grandpa, but... Um, oh, yeah. That's legacy money. Get in the car before we lose our dad. Come on. I got to talk about that. Wow. That's like... All right, well, enjoy the 75 cents I just gave you. Yeah. But let's let's be honest though. If every person gave you seventy five cents for every fucking order, you guys would would walk out of here with some nice change. Yeah, yeah we do. But we all we all split the tips. Yeah, it's, it's ultimately it's split between all of us at the end. So even yeah. if they get like twenty five dollars in tips and we get like twenty five cents, it all evens out. You don't need three guys behind the counter to serve coffee though. That's the that's the first problem. Ah, oh, I just hurt myself. Right off the bat, I'm gonna tell you because I'm a little younger. Yeah, they're annoyed the fuck out of you. I'm trying to annoy them, this is Carl. No, this is the first time I've been. Uh, Recorded on a podcast. Uh, I'll be like, what's, uh, what's the name of your podcast? Opie Radio. Opie Radio? Yeah. Opie, I think it's like open. I know. Yeah. Opie, do you know? Doesn't make a difference. What does Opie mean to you? It's a podcast, I don't know. Opioids. <laughs> opioids? Yeah. Nice. I have no idea. Yeah, we're yeah we're in Greenwich. Opioids. <laughs> I love opioids. They make me a little rapey. But... All right, now I'm gonna embarrass myself. I I used to be really famous. I'm sure. Yeah. Look up, look up Opie on your phone right now. Do it. O P I E. Let's see what comes up. All right. Look it up. Really making people look you up. This is embarrassing. I'm trying to be embarrassed. It's like David Hasselhoff when he was passed out eating that cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Greg, you? Yeah, that's me. Look. What picture they got up there? They got a good one? Uh, it's a young picture with... <laughs> <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> it's a young picture. <laughs> Yeah, that's me, man. That's wow, quite, that's quite cool. you need a you need a, a new like uh, screen on your phone, bro. That's the style out here. The chicks like it. It looks like right. you're struggling a little. I, I used to do a big radio show that's when you guys were probably yeah, I'm struggling out here. It's a broken phone screen. Oh wow, they, they know they're they're privileged. I like this. I, man, I, 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 Enjoy being privileged. I would trade my life for any of these kids' lives in a second. Yeah. Anyway, I used to. Oh, my I mean, you know, the new person. So we, we come from different yeah. backgrounds. Does I mean, we have like the same struggles, but we still struggle in different ways. Right. Right. What does your dad do? My dad's a real estate agent. Blake Delaney. You should hit him up. So he'll sell your house. There you go. All right. See that? I, I might have to sell it soon if this podcast doesn't start <laughs> taking off, boys. To, uh, Cheers. Sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, you don't have to apologize. You enjoyed the hell out of it. He's still holding on, boys. They they enjoyed the hell out of it. All right, let's go. Wow. <laughs> wow. They're so fucking rich, those three kids. Did you see that? You can tell. So why are they working at a coffee shop? Just to get out of mom and dad's hair for a little while? Let me tell you something. You see that whole band of brothers in there? Yeah. They, that's a network in there. That's where everybody meets. They, this place is only open till 3 o'clock. At 3 o'clock starts the Rich Rich Carnival. All those kids meet up there. They eat free coffee, free sandwiches. That's where the drugs get delivered. That's where everything happens. And then the party starts. They had good jeans, didn't they? Did you see how good looking they all were? You see that kid's eyes? I was melting in them. <laughs> it wasn't that I was melting in it. He was gorgeous. It wasn't that I was melting at his eyes. Queer! Um. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I've never seen that color before, man. When privilege, like... When privilege gets together and make kids, there's, well, no, the, the th- there's another that, color that happens. Dude, 
Now, his father worked for his grandfather's firm on Wall Street. Right. So they've been they've been banging hot chicks for hundreds of years. Right. No ugly women on those in that. So imagine how hot his wife must be. To get that right, what color were those eyes? The color of money. <laughs> no kidding. There was a color of money. It was like a muddy money. Think no. about what a dollar bill looks like: gray, green. Right. That that kid had eyes that where you could literally say, "Yo, kid, your eyes are money." I've never seen eyes like that. It was like a muddy blue. Yeah. A muddy. I was blue. winking at him and shit through my dicky sunglasses. That was some like serious DNA happening right there. You see what I look like next to him? Yeah. I look like fucking Shrek. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but Carl says, uh, did you see what I look like standing next to him? I look, look like fucking Shrek. This car's a mess. Can I smoke in it now? Because it's... Nope. Nope. No smoking in the car. You know the only rule. I think they liked us. I think they liked me more than they liked No, me. I think they really enjoyed me. I can't believe you made them look you up. <laughs> <laughs> and they still had no recognition. They're still like, yeah, man, all right, so there's a picture of you. <laughs> There's a picture of my dad at Ponzi Scheme National Magazine. Let's just put it that uh, this way. Those kids are, what, teenagers, maybe? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, no, they're not even 20. No. So when they were born, that was 2000. That was the uh, the the pinnacle of the Opie and Anthony show. 2000. Two years later, we were fired, and we've been trying to get back up to the top ever since. So, yeah, they don't know who the fuck I am. Is this a dead end? Are we going to get screwed for going down a dead end in Coscob? What a nice neighborhood, Opie. Why don't you live here? I would love to live in the suburbs for real, man. I hate that city life. Ugh, I'm, you know what? I'm exhausted with the city. I'm done. Oh, shit. Bro. What, why wouldn't you put it in a cup holder? Bro, you just spilled coffee. I didn't spill it. You spilled it. Uh, it went all over your fucking readers, too, there from CVS. <laughs> <laughs> your little CVS reader glass. You know? I don't have readers. <laughs> <laughs> There's coffee all over your little readers. <laughs> I actually have uh, great eyes. Oh, boy. I got the LASIK. Did you? My brother's like... Every time I ask my brother for advice, he's just annoyed. I'm like, George, should I get LASIK? He's like, ah, who cares? Why bother? <laughs> LASIK was the best thing I ever did. I, I don't know how exciting this is going to be for the podcast, but I, ha- not. I had contacts and glasses since I was eight years old, and I got um, I got LASIK in 2000-ish, right. and immediately saw 2015. It, it was the, one of the best things I ever did in my life. Cool, man. <laughs> well, I, I mean, why are you wearing glasses still? Because they make me look interesting and smart. Yeah, but you could get the glasses with the fake glass. That mean, that would make you a dick and not interesting. <laughs> I, I would never wear fake glasses if I didn't have to wear fake glasses. I hear you. All right, where are we going now? We got to uh, meet well, up with Matt Farr. Was this the turn? No, the turn's up in the next light. Oh, look at that girl. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's so... Might be a little too ethnic for this neighborhood. Oh, man, but she's got a model button. Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you let me open the window? Stop. Ma'am! Stop! <laughs> I'll be, I swear to God, bro. Why do you get nervous? Well, you, you talk to people like fucking you're fucking dumb dumb. <laughs> Ma'am! <laughs> Hi! Go have coffee! Like, people get really nervous. No one talks like that anymore. Were you attracted to her? Yes. Are you single? Yes. Was your boy Opster uh, trying to take care of you? I think the officer would ruin any chance. <laughs> Why? Because she's not from that world. She's on her headphones. You're screaming, ma'am. The girl's no more than 22 years old. <laughs> ma'am! Did you notice she started walking faster? That's the opposite of someone liking what you're doing. <laughs> I love how you panicked and you, you were That's fighting because, me with the automatic window. I, I jammed up the window. You like that one, right? <laughs> yeah, that was pretty impressive. <laughs> <laughs> jammed up your window. <laughs> All right, I think we go back this way. I was just trying to take care of you, Carl. I got it. You know, I'm we're going on a yacht for the day to do our yacht cast. I went on a nice date in Philly the other day. That was nice. Had what, a nice dinner. What do you consider a date? Dates. I mean, I mean, I, I think the dates now are a little more encompassing, all encompassing than they used to be. Um, but I like being single. I, let me tell you something. There's so many nice people out there to spend some time with, and I love going out to eat. So, did you get the poison out? What's that mean? Uh, you know? Did you? You know? <whistles> you know? Did you? Did I what? Yeah. Yeah. 
What the hell is this nyan? What are you nyan about? It's none of your business. <laughs> it's none of your business. <laughs> Make a left here. National Enquirer. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to know you, Carl. I understand, was. but at our age, we shouldn't be talking. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, oh, we went on a date, and everything's understood. You know what I mean? Like, it can't be, it can't be all that, you know. Tim Sabian was at my date for a little while, which was weird. Well, you met up with Tim Sabian? Tim Sabian Why would you do that? Because I love Tim Sabian. He fucking rocks. <laughs> no, Timmy's all right. I, I was trying to do something stupid on the podcast. I can't, I can't front. I like Tim Sabian a lot. Tim. All right, we're here. We're at the Yacht Club, getting ready to go on the yacht. How funny! And I'm going to meet Matt look. Ferrar in look a at, minute. Look at Matt's car. Where's my car? Wow, what the hell is that? That's an Austin Martin. Fuck, that thing is badass. Right? I'm not a car guy, but hear me out. That is beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? That's, that's a twelve-cylinder Austin Martin. And then there's my car, which is every mistake I've made wrapped in German steel. <laughs> God, Marie. What was that? I should have ran that day that I met her. <laughs> I should have ran as hard as I could. I should have gump run for fucking 100 miles. I swear to God, it would have been better. So, let me ask you this. Yeah, go ahead. How much is his car worth? Two fifty. Two hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. For real? No, no, for fake. Yeah, it's an Austin Martin. And how much is your car worth at this point? Blue we're book do- value. We're doing blue book? Yeah. Blue book's not kind to my car, but we're going to go 3200 <laughs> <laughs> I love the confidence. We're going to go 3200 <laughs> Oh my god, you're the best. <laughs> you could work anything. I was almost impressed. I'm going to go 3200 I For a second, I was almost really impressed. <laughs> ah, we got to get this podcast going. Let's get going, brother. All right, so now what? Where's Matt? He's at the boat already. He gave me instructions how to get on the on the thing. Let's go. Oh, so this is it. I got to take everything. Uh, yeah, he's prepping the yacht. We're ready to go. All right, let me, uh, let me pause this. Uh, I guess, Joe, you could take it away from here. M- me and uh, Carl are going to be on a yacht meeting Matt Farrar, or I'm going to meet him for the first time. I love this part. From Smoking Tire. Can. When Joey jumps in now? Yeah. All right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with the Opie Radio Port. No, he's not that guy. That's Opie, why I like him. with the wind, Opie. <laughs> <laughs> We're so annoyed. Oh my God! It's not. And Rick Henley's talking about 1974. Brr, brr, 1974. No, he said uh, every story is from 1973. Uh. So this one's from Vic Henley. Uh, I love Vic Henley. Uh, uh, oh, how does that song go? Uh, uh, in '73, Manzelda from the San Francisco. I'm out of here. That's where are you going, I man? Hate, whatever you were doing, I hate. Ride, Captain, ride. <laughs> has, a, has a 1973 reference. 73 meant Zelda, right? Oh, no. 73 meant Zelda from the San Francisco. What are you doing? I forgot my keys. Oh. Stop singing that fucking song. We're going on a yacht. All right, all right. San Francisco, man. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Joe, yeah, take it away. I got to get my fishing rods out. I got all my stuff for the yacht. We'll be back with the OP Radio Podcast. Well, thanks for not making me sound like an asshole voiceover guy, Carl. But I'm still not sure who the fuck is Zelda in this song. Regardless, the guys are going to meet up with Matt, get on that yacht. Yo, Joey, the- I got to jump in here for a second. Ugh, I'm so embarrassed. What the fuck? Uh, I'm not even sure if uh, anyone really picked up on this, but I got to talk about it. So when I was in the car with Carl and I was bragging about knowing song lyrics, I started singing a blues image song called Ride, Captain, Ride. I was also trying to impress my pal Vic Henley that knows pretty much every lyric to every song ever made. Anyway, I was singing 73 meant Zelda from the San Francisco Bay. I've known that song forever. I've loved that song forever. The actual lyric, and uh, I'm sure a few people have picked up on this, but most it went right over their head. The actual lyric is, 73 men sailed up from the San Francisco Bay. I said 73 meant Zelda. 
from the San Francisco Bay. It's 73 men sailed up from the San Francisco Bay. I'm such an idiot. And I'm singing it all proud. Like, look at me, Carl. I know song lyrics. Just bragging and trying to show off. And the whole time I was wrong. Oh, I'm such a zero. I don't know why I sang... 73 meant Zelda from the San Francisco Bay. I, I, I mean, the song is from the late 60s, early 70s. So maybe I was assuming it was uh, some form of LSD that they were uh, doing near the San Francisco Bay. I just assumed way too much. But, oh, my God. When I uh, realized that I was miss um, singing that song forever. I, I just heated up inside. I was so embarrassed and I was thinking, oh my God, I should just edit that out of the podcast. And then I decided, you know what? I should come clean because I'm an idiot. At least I didn't uh, sing, excuse me while I kiss this guy. All right, Joey, take it away. But I feel like such a fool right now. I was going to edit that part out for you, Greg, but okay, we'll let it ride, Captain. Ride. Straight ahead, we meet up with Matt Farah. 